I tell you what, Jeremy's fucked more of his friends' girlfriends more times than Ed's had sex. <laughs> Jeremy's a terrible friend, that was a joke. Hey, 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 come on. Let's, hey, let's concentrate. Hey, Ed works for an elementary school, which is weird considering his students have more education than him. Hey, Ed, Jeff Foxworth has got a new show he wants you to be on. Are you dumber than a dropout? No, but as you know, the Shark Legs, that's a pretty fat band. Ed sings for him. These shark legs are so fat when they play too hard, they don't break strings, they break stages. <laughs> no, 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 I shouldn't say that. Ed lost some weight recently. He took a shit, spent his paycheck in a night, and a patch of hair fell out. <laughs> Drugs, folks. <laughs> anyway, all right. So we're all happy, laughing, and having a good time. But I mean, <laughs> who's funny, a Jamie or me? <laughs> I'm loving it, but he's taking away from my ass. Ladies and gentlemen, just sitting here, chill the fuck out, huh? <laughs> hey, but before I get into Tyler, I have a question. If a girl had sex with Tyler and Jeff, how many men has she had sex with? Uh, Two, because Tyler's half a man and Jeff's a man and a half. <laughs> Actually, Tyler and my suit have something in common. They both come out, uh, uh, God, they both come out of the closet for special occasions. <laughs> Uh, Tyler Brown, he drives a 2001 Kia. It's not the first time he's been inside a seven-year-old Korean. <laughs> Tyler Brown. Tyler, hey! It's a nice five o'clock shadow. Ironically enough, usually the only, five, uh, the only shadow on him at five o'clock is a guy leaving his bedroom. <laughs> On Tyler's birthday, Noah dresses up like Melissa, sings to him, leans in to kiss him, then backs off and tells him she, he loves him but isn't in love with him. No, 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 no. Tyler, being such a such a big Batman fan, we were gonna try to get the star of the upcoming Dark Knight here tonight, Heath Ledger, but he said he'd rather kill himself than be here. He said he'd come if Jamie could get him some good pills. I gotta admit, Tyler, you're a pretty nice guy for being the biggest asshole in the room. Hey, but you know, Tyler loves Radiohead. I've never met Radio, but he sounds like an alright guy. Shana! How you doing? As you used to know, Tyler used to fuck Shana right here. But he likes assholes, and I mean, considering her pussy is so big in the winter that Jeff Martin hibernates in it, it didn't work out. But I noticed you sitting next to Amy. Hey, who's fucked more guys in emo bands? You or Amy? If Tyler's fucking a girl and says, who's your daddy? He's asking because he wants to fuck him too. Tyler once fucked a girl in the ass so she could remain a virgin. True story. If we use that logic, then I guess Tyler's still a virgin, too. Alright, I'm glad you guys have enjoyed this. I'm about to get off the stage, but I got one final question for a member of the audience. Melissa, what is it about your pussy that makes Tyler think it's a man's asshole? Good night.
now is my time to roast Mr. Tyler Orlando Brown. And then we'll hear from the man himself. Yeah, bring up some music. You did hard, by the way. Is Jamie taking a shit or pissing? What the fuck are you doing over there? All right, Tyler Orlando Brown. He was born a poor black child. What the fuck kind of middle name is Orlando anyways? Did your mom fuck a 70s black porn star? <sighs> Whatever. Tyler lost his virginity to a girl. He doesn't even know her name. That's a true story, right? Well, we did a little research and found out the girl's name is Bradley Parker. <laughs> You're right, Tyler doesn't do fat chicks. There wasn't Bradley Parker. We all missed Tyler when he went away to California to chase his dreams. Those dreams were shattered when he decided to move back for a game of kickball. Oh. You look at Tyler Brown, he looks like the autistic Keanu Reeves. One thing about Tyler, you try to get him to do something, he's about as reliable as a busted condom. <laughs> you are pale, man. You need to get out and get some sun. You're almost as pale as Heath Ledger. Oh, oh too soon? What the fuck? You just talked about it. <laughs> Tyler's so skinny, his nipples touch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but Tyler's been uh, trying to bulk up lately, drinking the protein shakes. What, you ain't getting enough uh, protein from letting dudes pop off in your mouth? Uh, people say Tyler's cute like a chipmunk. That's because he lets Chad Jesse keep his nuts in his hole. Oh, God. Tyler's so gay, he shits rainbows. He's so in touch with his feminine side that he can fuck himself. <laughs> Tyler's a very funny guy. He should have been a proctologist, though. Especially the way he's always up Noah's ass. Hey. What the fuck? Do I got to piss in a cup up here? What the fuck? I guess that's yeah. Oh, man. I remember one time Tyler got scared because he thought he got Shana pregnant. Could you imagine that, baby? It would look like Freddie Mercury from Queen fuck Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. <laughs> no fish, yeah, but your mouth's so big you can go bobbing for basketballs. <laughs> Don't smile too much, your hair will get wet. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but Shane's got something in common with Tequila Mockingbird. They both take the deliveries in the rear. <laughs> now that Heath Ledger's dead, at least you can play Joker in the next Batman. <laughs> Which brings us to sweet Melissa. We all know that Tyler has a soft spot for Melissa. It's called his vagina. <laughs> Tyler and Melissa share everything. They share thoughts, feelings, and tampons. <laughs> Melissa told me she would have sex with you, but she's not bi. <laughs> oh, God. The thought of Melissa having sex with Tyler makes her so cold that she would have a period in cubes. 